Always. Always. If somebody's trying, yeah. Throw some money, man. Throw a dollar. Throw a 20. Throw a 50. Throw a 100. Make a guy's day. Somehow, that guy back there, he's in this airport playing his heart out for tips. I can almost guarantee you he ain't get paid for that. He's only getting the tip money. And being as it's a noon on a Thursday, it's the first time I ever heard him playing it here. Noon on a Thursday, that's probably all he does. He probably got a gig tonight. Hell, he might be playing for his flight money. You never know. So, get on. Oh, wait. It's a new video. So, anyway, while I'm in Columbus, I'm on the way to Chicago. Actually, South Chicago is Peru. And trying to get done. I just booked my last one, so I'm going to hit the bonus. Love my bonuses. So, anyhow, got to wait seven hours on my bags because I'm in Columbus. But other than that, everything's working great. Later. Okay, I'm going to start bitching on here all the time about how long it's going to take my bags because this time I walked out there and the belt started moving and my bags were number one and two. Yeah, I'm forever going to talk crap and then be proven wrong. But good job, Columbus baggage team. So, yeah, called my Uber, $140 for 43 miles because, you know, that's where we're at, right? So, anywho, I had it. You know, I love my life. But I think one of the coolest things about my job is uh, all the cool trucks I get to look at. I mean, like, who else gets to do this? It's all brand new stuff. It's like just going to a dealership and be like, cool, I want to drive that one for a couple of days. Who wouldn't want to do this? I mean, I know there's pros and cons to everything, but it's just like if I could actually, I wish I would have been able to start doing this stuff 10, 15 years ago. Now, granted, it all worked out because I have, I have a family, but that my kids are gone, so I ain't got to worry about it now. I mean, I'm empty nesters, so it's vacation time for me. But, like, I'm just, I, I just love it. I mean, there's just all of this, this new exciting world that I get to live through. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. And, uh, anywho, I'm actually waiting on them to set out these Kenworths, and then I'm strolling on. So, talk to y'all later. Yeah, this is another sketchy ass hotel, but it'll be all right. Cause sometimes you just have to stay in sketchy ass hotels when you do this job. But then you get this. Oh, here we go. You get this surprise sometimes and you walk into a room, you find out. Well, that's still a sketchy ass hotel. Maybe I can you. I'm gonna get some grub. Good morning. Isn't that beautiful? Just look at that sun. Wow, it ain't up yet. And, uh, yeah. I love a beautiful sunrise makes my day all the better. So, about, I don't know, 50 miles from my destination, but uh, I'm going to have to stop and get some go-go juice. Uh, I just ain't going to make it. So, I'm going to stop, get some diesel, probably get something to drink, and uh, go ahead and uh, head on up there and uh, kick this one off, and then Chicago.
back to, you know, gets him back up to uh, Chicago, and I just let him know, hey, I'm, uh, I'm actually, you know, on the highway here, out here, so, hey, hey, it looks like there's jumps up there. All right, guys, so I'm, uh, I'm in my next truck, and uh, brand new, brand new, just picked her up from the factory over there in Chillicote. Actually, no, I'm sorry, at this time it'd be up here in uh, Washington. That's where the real trucks are made up here in Washington now. And uh, so anywho, I, uh, what I got here is I got me a five and a four transmission here. And uh, it's 1953 now, Scooters. So uh, yeah, but I'm sitting here in this little cab of Kenworth and I'm gonna kick her on down the road and uh, we're gonna make us, a, make us a day now, you hear? Yeah, man, I wish I was around back then because I love these things. This thing is beautiful. I'm getting out of here because I'm gonna make something fall. Anyhow, so the story on this is, and I did a video on it once before. Plus my ass. So, story on this old girl is, she was sold new. She was delivered out to California. Anywho, it was a single axle that stopped right here. Well, then somebody whacked it put a frame extension on there and made it a dual axle but they didn't have a fifth wheel on it and it had a bed that came down went all over there pretty sure the bed dumped now this thing was in basically a scrap auction wasn't nothing gonna happen and the owner of CIT trucks who uh, this happens to be I'm in Peru Illinois I don't know if you can see it give a little shout out yeah I got a walk out part of it so the owner saw it, knew it was going to get crushed, and just couldn't do it. And he bit off the scrappers to uh, get her back in. Uh, they brought it, and I mean, of course, they didn't do the greatest restoration job kind of deal. But they did paint it up and did a really good job of painting it. It's been sitting there. It doesn't run. Right now, but he did get the history of it. So you ever want to see it CIT trucks in Peru Illinois um, and then there's a little plaque here it says exactly what it is it is a I don't know if you can see that but it's a 1953 KCC 521 came with a 200 horse Cummins and it was original 117 mil bays two axle blah 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 known as a bulldozer or a bubble nose but that's a little history fun facts and i gotta check in my truck so i gotta get to the airport so fun things you see i have made it to the airport i have uh, i'm in the club you know looking down on everyone and uh yeah got my stuff on now i'm nine hours early for my flight but there's not another one they can get me on uh, well they could but it'd be gambling to get out of it and i ain't going to this one's a direct flight. I don't have to worry about Denver or Houston because apparently Houston's packed right now. So, but uh, I got me some meatballs, a bread, a little drink. Hey, a long time. It's a good thing this stuff's free. Later. All right. Getting bored. I'm already three hours in on airport time. Still got five hours to go. Trying not to get drunk too early, FYI. Trying to do good. So, I done walked over to F. I ate twice. I haven't drank anything, like, sip water. Um, so, I think I'm gonna go over to C, hang out, see if there's a, uh, see if I can go sneak peek of the new club. I don't know if that'll happen yet or not. Maybe, we'll see. But yeah, five hours to go. This video may be more of a uh, fun facts about Chicago O'Hare since I've got so long. So anywho, above me, we will see Brontosaurus, also known as Long Neck. Wearing a mask. This thing is huge. I mean, when I say huge, I do mean huge. And uh, so yeah, that's something cool. It's a landmark. When somebody says go to the dinosaur, that means that it's in between 
the uh, walkway to go under go to go to Terminal C. And then right here is Terminal B. So that's how you know. Go to the dinosaur. It's also where customer service is um, for people who don't have, yeah, I'll just take the stairs, um, who don't have any status or a club membership, you can go there to get help and wait in line with everybody else. So this is probably one of the coolest things about Chicago here, is when you walk under from Terminal. Wow, we're not moving. That really took me by surprise. When you walk under from B to C, you get this cool, like the light show. It's weird, this thing is actually trying to move. I think it's gonna break on me. Yeah, the other one is under construction, so yeah, it's cool. Yeah, isn't that a cool light show? Alright, so this is the food court. There's a lot of people in the food court. So, I like their ice cream. I'm gonna get some of that. But, right here, the Billy Goats. This is the best burger in the Chicago Airport. I'm telling you right there. And then you sit back there and eat. I'm gonna get some of this ice cream, don't tell my wife. Ice cream's really, really good. I don't know if they make it or what, but it's really, really good. So, all right, on to the next part of the tour. So late at night, you got these little couches kind of sitting around here. And these international ones, like this one was going to, uh, they just left for Japan, but these international sides, you can actually lay out here and take a good, fat nap. This is the Blair's Club. You have to be flying to Europe, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, South America to be able to get in there. I'm not flying there. I may fly a lot, but I don't fly out of this country. So, yeah, I can't go in there. This is another United Club. See this deal? It says, unable to accept one-time passes. Yeah, that's where uh, guys like me thrive because... We, uh, we actually, oh, I'm sorry, man. I thought you were, I almost got in front of that lady. So, uh, yeah. So, having a membership is worth it. All right. So, at the end of C, are these lovely little benches. These things are really awesome for sleeping in. So, they also now have these little couches. You're going to find one real quick. So everybody's loading their plane and so we started putting these couches everywhere they're really cool they uh kind of soft giggling up against them uh where's this flight going to yeah it's leaving now i don't know what the next one is oh yeah so you see how this one's boarding right now the next one, if you look underneath there, it don't leave until 6 o'clock. So, if a dude wanted to take a really good nap, you could lay out on these, take a real good nap, and not worry about things. You don't get yelled at. You know how it is. Airports. It happens. So, but I'm not ready for that yet. So, I'm going to move on. I pissed off and flattered, didn't it? I asked her, I said, What's the best place you think it is? And best terminal area, whatever, whatnot, to catch a nap around here. She says, well, I don't know, I'm not based here, and if I'm here, I'm not sleeping. And uh, I'm like, okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm not asking her, like, well, you should, you should uh, try B terminal. They have these you know, places to sit, and I'm like, Oh, yeah, that's not what I'm doing. It's like, I'm not worried about it. I can go to the club and drink and drink and keep drinking, but I still got five hours to my flight. So, I'm just kind of motivating myself to keep going. But, uh, yeah, she didn't appreciate that. So, uh, she just kind of put her headphones in, and the other guy kept talking to me, but he was cool. She was just a little too stuck up, I think. Anyway. I am... Uh, Keep on finding because I'm gonna try to find the best place to take a nap. I found it. Good morning. 
Yeah, I'm getting a nap. Like, probably an hour. But yeah. It's time to go to the other side. To we'll find the bar. Well, it's time to cut this one short. It's three o'clock. Got five hours till my flight. Gonna have me a beer. Or 17 of them. Whatever. Later.